Hello folks, welcome to another video. This will be the Freeware Friday episode featuring the aircraft on your screen. This is the Vans RV7. Now I featured it in a previous Freeware Friday episode, but it has been updated since I made that video and it has been updated with a very important change that I can only show you by going inside. Here it is folks, steam gauges. So when it was first released, and, and in the video that I, I made originally, um, that version, which still exists, um, had the, the G1000. This one has the steam gauges. Oh, I like it. Looks good. Folks, you're in a place called Lake Macquarie, which is in New South Wales, uh, here in Australia. This is a custom freeware rendition of Lake Macquarie Airport. There it is out there. I'll link to that in the description as well. Very nice. Um, what I thought we'd do is go for a really quick fly. Um, and uh, there will be a link to the aircraft in the description. Congrats to the developer for keeping um, for keeping it, I was going to say keeping it up to date, but, but to keep working on it, to keep improving it is what I, what I really mean to say. And um, this, is, this is very nice. And for freeware, it's very, very nice. So... What I might do is adjust the... Oh no, the trim is actually okay. I'm looking... I'm looking here. So I recall that the trim in the original version was down here or something, wasn't it? And now it's... It's a bit more visible and... Well, not so much more visible, but... It's more indicative... Or more understandable for an old fella. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, so training responders set, we've got nothing flight plan wise, local barrow, or pretty much sea level here, yeah. Uh, runway 25 here at the lake. Uh, we don't have packs visible. And I believe that, yeah, so since the original release, the canopy now works. How nice is that? Hey, let me go outside, show you that. Look at that. The old fella and Jude. I can see Jude from here, but I can't see her when I'm inside. I wonder how difficult it is to, to actually... Because, uh, I mean, some some mods have the co-pilot built into the mod. I wonder how difficult it is to make that to make that work. I don't know. Anyway, there's the, uh, there's the beast in all of its glory, folks. So with the canopy. Can I close that from here? Maybe not. Jump back inside. How do I close it? Something like that. Oh, it's got some tinting. You can see that come down. I hope that appeared on the video. Anyway, folks, what should we... Uh, should we go flying? I think we should. Bit of nav, bit of landing. Flaps are up. Um, do we need flaps for takeoff? We're going to give some flaps for takeoff. Yeah, I think there's been some improvements here on the, the labelling and stuff. I reckon. Anyway. Freeware Friday, here we go, folks. A parking brake can come off, and away we go. Tail drag, are always interesting in this sim. Get a bit more juice, lots of right boot to keep it on the strip. Here we go, a little bit of left boot to keep it centered. Here we go, folks. Up through 60, not a particularly good job of flying it. <laughs> we'll get airborne, that was horrible. And we're gonna get flaps up as well. Um, yeah, this thing's got some. This thing's got some power. Into the red on the old taco. We'll bring, bring that back to 2,500 RPM as we make a left turn out onto crosswind. Oh, that was a horrible departure. All over the spot, all over the place, wasn't it? Anyway, the town of Lake Macquarie, folks, beautiful part of the world. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a gorgeous day weather-wise. Have a look at it. Hey, eh? can't complain bloody lovely flying conditions light breeze looked like it was pretty much down the strip too so there was just no excuse for that horrible takeoff no excuse just reasons folks and the reason is pilot competence or incompetence as the case may be oh, yeah, they the like beautiful isn't it hey eh? anyway 100 knots doing about 2300 rpm we can go a lot faster than that in this uh this little beast got the landing lights on we don't need them on 
landing light can come off. There we go. Flaps up, no need to worry about gear, of course. Be a little bit late to be worrying about gear. I'll sort of head back towards the field. We have an autopilot built into this one? We don't. I think there was an autopilot built into the, the G1000 edition, wasn't there? There's the strip over there, folks. We'll sort of head back here, do a do a bit of a uh, flyby down the down the beach, and uh, I'll take an external shot for those of you that like that sort of stuff. We'll do that now. There we go. There she is. Gorgeous. Very agile little aeroplane. Oh, hello, we've got some weather rendered in. <laughs> Jeez, holy crap. The weather's ch changed very suddenly. And uh, quite significantly, <laughs> I might add. We've gone from clear skies to uh, a bit of low cloud. A bit of low viz in parts as well. Bloody Nora. Hey, eh? reminiscent of X-Plane. What's going on there? Have we got live weather balked again or something? Oh, I don't know. Oh, jeez. We've gone IFR. We might head back to the field, folks. That'll... That'll uh, bring our video to a... to a, an early close, I think. We've got some rain on the panel now. Alright. We'll come back. We'll just land. That'll do us. What's going on there? I haven't... Jeez, I haven't seen that for a while. Uh, the weather in this sim... When it's good, it's good. But it's bloody variable. There's a strip down there. We'll come right back off the right back off the juice there, slow into the wide arc. No worries at all. There's a strip. Nice short little strip in here. Lake Macquarie. Is it this used to be called Aero Pelican, didn't it? Or is it still called Aero Pelican? A local might be able to, to tell me. I could look it up, I suppose. But where's the fun in that? Go full flaps for our landing. This will be interesting. It looks like we've developed a bit of a crosswind. In fact, it looks like we've developed a strong crosswind <laughs> since our departure. And our departure wasn't good. I don't want to get too slow here. Oh, this, folks, this could be absolutely anything. If I if I keep it on the strip, I'll be amazed. Here we go, 60 knots. That's a good stiff breeze from the left. Here we go, right out of practice here. A little bit of right boot if we can keep it on the strip. A bit more right boot. Stall. Yeah, right out. Are we on the strip? I can't tell. <laughs> I think we're slip sliding everywhere. Folks, I might leave it there, parking brake on. We'll go outside. We did keep it on the strip. It'd be interesting to see a replay, but uh Oh look at that. Look oh <laughs> It's all smoke and mirrors, folks. It looks like we're, uh, we're well, we are. On, we've ended up on the center line, but geez, we deviated from it through that landing. Anyway, folks, Freeware Friday episode. Thanks for your company in another video. This is the RV7 with steam gauges. Congrats to the developer. It's a fantastic aircraft. We'll see you in the next video, folks.